Command and Conquer Red Alert 3. Now here's a game that knows how to use cutscenes. I was put in charge of a top secret project. Whatever it is, it is too late. With respect, General, you are wrong. This is brilliant because they've retained the cheesiness of mid-1990s computer video game cutscenes while actually making them high-budget movie cinematics that are thoroughly entertaining, fun to watch, which tell the story. This is sheer brilliance. The Imperial War Machine has been unleashed. Do not struggle against what is inevitable. Damn right, Sulu's taken over the world with force. Brilliant casting in this game, even Elliot Carver from the Bond film is in here. I know you're in need of rest, sir, but I thought you should know that the Allies' European forces have retreated north to their air base in Iceland. So what have we got in Command and Conquer Red Alert 3? Tanks, explosions, giant robots, ninjas, hot girls wearing vinyl miniskirts. Uh, I'd say they pretty much have every element in here to make a good video game. Excellent controls, good music, smooth gameplay. At the heart of this video game is Command and Conquer, the real-time strategy series which first came out for computers in 1995. In fact, I played these way back in the day. They've taken a strategy game and made it feel like one of the largest budget games in existence, and the thing is it works. Fans of the original series should be very happy with this game, and gamers who have not played real-time strategy games will find a very entertaining game that has an excellent tutorial to get you started with Command & Conquer Red Alert 3. And once you figure out how to play this game, it's really exciting. I'm usually more of a turn-based strategy game kind of guy, but I enjoy a real-time strategy game as well. If you're familiar with the series and real-time strategy games, I'll get to the technical stuff in a moment. If you're just getting into this kind of game, it's not an arcade-style game, so don't expect to be up to speed and master the gameplay in five minutes. It takes a bit longer. This game comes with an excellent tutorial that I played through. It takes, takes about 45 minutes to an hour to get through the tutorial. And even that just really gives you the basics. The first couple missions of the game are much simpler, and that does ease you into the overall gameplay. So you start figuring out how to unpack your factory things, and how to mine ore and get the power that you need to build units, and just over the overall command structure. What I always like to do in these games is build as many units as I can, and then send them all off to their death. So I can sit back and watch the explosions. A unit is under attack. Insufficient command points. Visually, it looks great, and it's top notch in the sound department as well. An ore mine is nearing depletion. It's also very smooth. I've seen a number of these strategy style games come over to consoles and play like a jerky mess. Not so with this one. On the PlayStation 3, it is smooth, fluid, and fun to watch. I've introduced a bill which will quintuple the resources we are putting towards this conflict. Control of key regions left behind by the retreating allies. Great Britain now stands as the last European nation yet to fill the jackboot of Soviet aggression. Leaving the defense of Great Britain entirely in your hands. I'd like you to meet Lieutenant Ava. She will be your intel officer and communications liaison. Even when the screen is full of mass chaos and you're spinning the battlefield around to get a look at it, it's not jerky. It's fairly easy to pull up the map and zip to somewhere on the battlefield that you need to be in a hurry. And the variety of units in this game is terrific. You have everything from bears to transformable fighter planes. Bonus objective complete. Our ally is under attack. Multi-gunner at your service. 
insufficient funds. While the cinematics may not be the core of the gameplay, they certainly don't hurt the game, and they tell the story in just the most entertaining way. They're, they're not too hard on the eyes, either. ...has retreated to the south of France. He captured Ken and kidnapped all our brass down there. I'll take out their naval port, but you'll have to take care of the rest. Insufficient points. Our base is under attack. Inspection complete. We have full authority. A unit is under attack. Inspection complete. In control. We've lost a collector. Let's proceed. Ah, found them. Insufficient funds. Our ally is under attack. We have inspection Did you see something? Our base is under attack. This is nice cold. Be careful. I always have a tendency in these games to just build a hundred helicopters and attack everything with them. Let's watch as I drop things out of orbit onto dolphins. The variety of locations and maps are really nice, they look fantastic, and they're well constructed. On the PlayStation 3 disc, you also get some outtakes from the awesome cutscenes, a short feature called The Women of Command & Conquer Red Alert 3, some exclusive maps, and while this game may not be Herzog's Y on the Sega Genesis, my favorite real-time strategy game, it's an excellent game that packs hours, days, and weeks of gameplay. They've done a nice job with this one. Man cannon. <laughs> really? <laughs> Let's try that again.